We are about to start on tilt number five of this particular light speed quiz. At the moment, still a lot of people in the shake up for the competition. Uh, the fact of the matter is, for the overall championship, which is, I suppose, the blue ribbon, uh, nobody's got the com you know entire control of their own destiny. In that, if Michael McPartland wins this particular quiz today, he will win the championship. So we're talking about the net score, you know, the, the gross score which he gets to count for, for those, those particular rankings. If you get more points than anybody else today, in terms of your gross scores, Michael McPartland's in front on 25 points. So as things stand, Michael McPartland is in the lead at the moment, Clive, but I suppose Pokemon wouldn't be your Joker topic, would it, no, next really. time he's going on uh, <laughs> wherever it is. Uh, Michael McPartland, obviously, uh, yeah, has form, <laughs> Chris. Is that the right word, form? Uh, and he has beaten all five eggheads on his own. If you want to watch uh, it on YouTube, I don't know what you type in, but <laughs> tough one to Smoke call. It. We're talking about <laughs> specialist subject: Looney Tunes and Many Melodies, 1930-1965, chosen by Martin Pampel. Shall I just squeeze? We that? have started there. Hopefully, you're all on camera. Uh, good luck, Martin. I've got. Big hope for you here, and I'll try and make you hear me, okay? Which three words will ca Chris? That's all, folks. Is oh. correct. <laughs> <laughs> were captured at the end of every single cartoon from 1942 onwards. So, Chris, that's a great two points. Martin, you were there, but quite a way behind, if you don't mind me saying. Number two, 1947, 1947 saw the first pairing of Sylvester, you pressed then. Sweetie Pie? Yes. What was produced at the Ajax factory, situated just over the border uh, with Mexico, in the Oscar-winning animated short, Speedy Gonzales? <laughs> no, Childs. Cheese. What a great oh, answer, God. it's cheap. Iba, Iba, Iba. And Martin, again, you were just behind the bloke who got the points there. Which company produced... <laughs> Martin. At me. Afraid not, minus two. <laughs> Sam. Mm. Minus one. Hey, uh, we've got Preston. Warner Brothers. It's two points for Preston. Ah! You burgle in on a few <laughs> points like that, don't you? Yeah. Warner Brothers. Not a bird or a dog. Not a bird, not a dog. By what name do we know Saracophilus harrisi, the world's largest extant Chris. Tasmanian devil. Carnivorous marsupial. Yeah, well, well, well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I might give you a couple of points. You know, if it was a pub quiz, I'd give you two points for that. Well, we're in a pub. And a quiz. So, you know. Between 1949 and 1965, over 50 different items, including five miles of railroad track, sprawling boots... this is Acme products. An instant ice cream maker, a jet propelled wow, pogo wow. stick, glue, <laughs> nitro glycerin, <laughs> iron bird suit, a magnetic gun, sweet. dynamite, a detonator, and of course, anvils, were all manufactured by which company to little or no avail in wily coyotes incessant attempts to catch Roadrunner? And that is my question of the year. Thank you, Martin, for selecting that subject. Ashton, good two points. Which composer's work was featured in the 1957 animated short What's Opera Doc? Martin. It's Christmas! Richard Wagner is the correct answer. You are so educated. Two points and four points. I love it. Who directed four of the top five of the 50 greatest cartoons, which is Jerry Beck's ridiculously myopic 1994 collection? Namely, who directed One Froggy Evening? Martin? Chuck Jones. Absolutely, Chuck Jones. Uh, he, Chuck Jones should have, should have stuck with Roadrunner. What would he have uh, for in that? What's Opera Doc, yeah. One Froggy Evening, Duck Dodgers in the 24th and a half century. Duck a muck. So, 
Next one, restart those. You got four points there. Well worth it. <coughs> Two to go. What was Fliz Freeling's Christian name? I've got to put these in while you tell us the answer. Go on. It's a door. Last one of the cartoons. Specifically, how many Looney Tunes and Merry Melodies cartoons were withheld from syndication by United Artists in 1968 because of the use of ethnic stereotypes? Martin? 11. The Sense of 11. Good oh. round. Uh, I mean, if you have a look at the scores there, Martin's just aced 18 points despite getting two necks. So that's, I, I tipped it from the guy. Good choice of topic and a great score. Let's go on with the general knowledge. 15 on your set, Martin, because there's nobody creeping in at the last minute. How are you? How's your nicking from Sainsbury's going, by the way? Uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it was Tesco, didn't we? In which game would you use a disc called a squidger? It's Christmas! Clive and Martin whispered the answer to the people Martin. next to you. Yes, Martin was there. Oh, Martin. Yeah. Go on. Tiddlywinks. Yeah, Tiddlywinks is okay. One point each. <laughs> Next one. Um, what name is given to a young squirrel or beaver? Laycock. <laughs> Not a book with that. Martin. A cab. Uh, Clive. Kit. Kit or kitten is correct. Clive, two points. At most. <coughs> How many wickets can fall in a standard cricket test match? Rose. It's Christmas! 40 is the correct answer over there. <coughs> the International Dialing Code for Japan. Yeah. A short film by Stephen Burke. The interstate freeway between Tennessee and New York. The atomic number of thallium... Mark Laycock. 55. No. It's Christmas! Cesium. Uh, I think, I'm not sure, don't quote me on that. Laycock minus one. Getting boring that sound. McDonald. Eighty four. Nope. <laughs> Rhodes. Eighty two. Nope. So. That's Halifax out. <laughs> <laughs> no. Not quite. Yeah. You're still flying the flag. The other number of Thallion with the binary notation O one O one triple O one and the Roman notation L triple X one. Oh, oh. Uh, Lee's. I was pretty confident it was eighty one anyway, but I'm yeah. were you? So are you going to change your mind? No, it's eighty one. Eighty one. It is eighty one. Well done, Michael. Two points for you. Big flurry at the end there. Nobody on matched scores. Pieris, P I E R I S. Pieris brassicae is a common butterfly that is. Chris. Cabbage white. That is synonymous with yeah. laying his eggs on which vegetable you get the cabbage, cabbage. white. Yes, you've got that. Uh, Chris, great. Yeah. Great answer. Did you know it or did you work it out? Worked it from the brassica. Worked brassica, your cabbage, yeah. Yeah. Which non-Italian city, by the way, which non-Italian city, is not Amsterdam, not Birmingham, not Copenhagen, Giton, Hamburg, St. Petersburg, Stockholm or Rocklau, has been described as the Venice of the North. By Erasmus, <laughs> Sam, Bruce, <laughs> and a shithole by Ray, a guilt stick and hitman played by Corin Farrell. It's Bruce, oh, well done. It. So, uh, two it. points for Sam. Yeah, there, loads of kind of places are called the Venice of the North. Oh, look, we're at Nottingham, the Venice of the North. Next one, North. Uh, what ship in the UK's National Historic Fleet? has a name which translates from the Scots vernacular which means short <laughs> Clive. <laughs> you know when that sound comes around you think, well... Short one. Short skirt. Or sh well, technically it's short undergarment. That's why you know it. <laughs> which Pet Shop Boys video for a 1988 UK number one? <laughs> Steve Rhodes. It's a sin. I'm afraid it's not. It's Christmas! I think at this stage, Steve, you meant to go, it's too fast, it's too fast. <laughs> uh, McBartland. Heart. Heart is a good answer, oh, yes. Oh, well, McBartland, you get two points for that. Yeah. What's the largest landlocked African country? <laughs> Please. Sudan? No. Okay. 
I'd finish that question. Preston. It's Chad. It is Chad. Oh, if I'd known it was going to be you getting it, I'd have... It used to be. I'd have negative one. Right into Southampton. Uh, very, very well, close to the thing there, but you knew what word was coming up. So Preston gets his kind of... Hapeth. Oh, six to go. Which South African batsman? <laughs> That's a question over. Which South African batsman became the first batsman in the 21st century to score double centuries in successive test matches? <laughs> it was finished. Rhodes. Ashley Rambler. Sam. De Villiers. Ashton. Uh, Lees. Kevin Peterson. Lees. Uh, Preston. I always said De Villiers. Right? Chris. Smith. Brian Smith. Uh, I was going to say Smith as well. It's, uh, what did, what did you say? I said Graham Smith. Well, you're absolutely correct, sir. Well, well, I, I, I didn't say Smith that time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> Chris, sorry about that. Sorry. Right. Uh, I could compound my by giving the points to Clive, but you've got it that time. <laughs> Keep your eyes on it, yes. We're going to have a little stop after this while I reset the cameras. I'm not risking a double on. In which country was shipping magnate Aristotle? <laughs> <and Martin? laughs> Afraid not. Minus one. Laycock. Turkey. Turkey, Lurkey is correct. Well done, yeah, done. I'm really glad you said Greece then. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but I have. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're getting some deja vu here, I think. What name is given to a line segment joining two points on any curve, but especially Laycock? Parabola? I'm afraid not. Minus one as well. You are cavalier, aren't you? <laughs> uh, and, uh, to a line segment joining two points on any curve, but especially recognisable in a circle. <laughs> no, it's not a circumference. No, 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 no. No, it's Christmas. Not that. It's Christmas. Child. Cord. 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 Uh, which you've mentioned earlier on, so you don't kind of. And the last one on this particular round, and you can do what you want. In which country are the plains of Abraham? <laughs> Clive and Chris, you drew. Could you? Who's the person next to you? Canada. Canada, yeah. Canada. Uh, yes, Canada is correct. So Clive, you get a point. Let me round this up before you stand up. Clive, uh, one point there. And Chris, one point there. The winner of that particular round was uh, Martin by a huge chop, 19. But Chris, a very noble second on not your special subject, 11 points. Well done. See you in five minutes. Five minutes, do what you've got to do.